Welcome back for another episode of What the F*** Funcom. For some reason, a lot of you really enjoy this, and don't worry, I enjoy doing it. And I guess this has become a series. I guess you could loosely say it's become a series, but... I mean, I think it's a series at this point. I've made enough videos about it. But today, we are going to be discussing server transfers. Now, if you are new to Conan, like the last uh, year or so, maybe you, maybe you never even heard of server transfers, but I'm going to assume you have. But if you have no idea what this long lost feature was slash is, I only say is because it could return. But it's simply what it sounds like. Instead of being bound to one server, one could simply upload their said character and transfer it between servers. But provided if you play PvP as I do, you would only be allowed to transfer between those types of servers and characters had to cool down before they could transfer again. I'm not exactly sure what the rules were for PvE and PvEC. I know they had a shorter cooldown. I want to say it's only like 24 hours and I'm pretty sure it was seven days for us on PvP. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that really doesn't matter. But uh, enough about that, let's get into why they removed it, and to be honest, the reason is quite simply because Funcom implemented a broken piece of shit mechanic without proper testing. They didn't take the time to iron out the issues kinks before allowing it to go live, so naturally it was riddled with issues and bugs, which is quite normal for Funcom if you've been around for a while. But if we look at the official post here, the announcement doesn't give us much information to go off of. We're currently working on improving this feature, so please keep an eye on the forums for upcoming announcements regarding character transfers. Uh, this was said back in June of 2022, and since then, we don't really have much information to go off of at this point. Uh, there haven't been any announcements. If you look through this post, there hasn't been said. So uh, if you're out there refreshing the forums constantly, trying to see when they're going to announce something about server transfers, I suggest you get some help and get outside and do something else with your life because that cannot be healthy for you. But this is pretty typical of Funcom, and I'm sure you know what I mean at this point, but you feel free to try to pull more information from the forums or staff over at Funcom. That dictatorship over there rivals that of Stalin in his prime. It just does. It's just how they are over there. But with little to no information to go off of, many have begun to assume, you know, server transfers, they just might never come back. And it's probably safe to assume that they might not come back, but I feel like longevity of the game, they would like to. I'm a little worried that they might try to implement cross-platform in the future, which, uh... Uh, that that could be its own video. We're not going to get into that here. But Funcom is just more focused on a new battle pass in Bazaar, which pulls in more revenue for the company. So why even really worry about server transfer and letting the community know like, hey, just so you guys, if you're wondering, we're still working on improving the features. We've been testing it because let's just be f honest. They probably haven't been working on it. They've probably spent a little bit of time. But of course, they'll drum it up and make it seem like they've been working on this thing with, you know, just tooth and nail to get it done and get it out there for you. But they haven't. And I feel like I'm safe in saying that. I'm assuming it, but I feel like it's pretty safe to assume. The actual reason they pulled the server transfer, it, it kind of seems shrouded in mystery, uh, but one can almost feel like they are jumping into a rabbit hole of endless theories. There are tons of theories and stuff out there, but those of us, on the other hand, who actually played while server transfers were a part of the live client, we know all too well while this function most likely vanished. I guess it would be too time consuming for Funcom to list every issue behind server transfers. I mean, hell, it would be time consuming for me to dive into all the issues that came with the new feature. But I will speak from personal experiences I had when server transfers went live. 
At the time I was playing on private servers and before server owners could get, <laughs> think, oh God, before they could disable server transfers because it just got implemented and bam, it was there. Uh, there was complete carnage happening anywhere from people loading in characters with mass amounts of resources, weapons that could one shot you and sometimes not even a weapon, but a simple stone tool players being in what was considered God mode speed as if in admin mode or, you know, they, you would think they're cheating, but it was just a bug you could do. It's just anyone could do it with the server transfers. The list can literally go on forever and many others experience similar things as this, as well as more catastrophic character corruptions was extremely common amongst this new feature, which then left you having to contact Zendesk and we all know how notorious Conan support is and how tedious and time consuming it can be just to get simple answers or a solution. Server transfers just fucking sucked. It was just that simple, but when it did work, it was nice to be able to leave a server behind that may have dwindled in population. The feature offered fresh air, like a breath of fresh air and new battles to be encountered by players. It also led to Zerg server hopping and completely leaving a server in absolute ruins. This pissed off a lot of people in the community, but I personally thought it was fine. Yeah, you can disagree with me, but I'm not trying to speak for you, but if you play a survival based game, it's more for the threat. The threat of losing all of your hard work, having to fight for what you have earned, all those hours you have spent on the game building, a group that may come along that is better at PvP or has the numbers, you know, maybe calling friends and who have never played the game and then them enjoying the game and having new experiences and encounters with your friends and learning to use new weapons, new builds, and at the end of the day, just learning how to not be a damn bot. That's what makes it so much fun for me. So without the threat, eh, it's not really a survival game. But everyone has a different opinion, and the reason you play the game could be completely different, but those are some of the reasons why I love the game and still play it to this day, despite... Funcom's incompetence. Now, I will end this video with some actual constructive criticism. Let's get them air quotes up for Funcom. But rather than simply saying get your shit together, but saying get your shit together is perfect though, because for a company to be this absent minded and lazy, it's kind of absurd, but uh, I'll digress from that because I could. You, you know me, I could go on forever. Funcom honestly just needs to take more time. It's just that simple. Test features and new content properly. Before you waste your time in the comments with that, that's what the test live is for. You can just shut up. A wise man once told me, and I'm paraphrasing here, so bear with me, but you simply play the test live just so you know what the new bugs will be added into the game that way you have an advantage for when the test live comes to live you already know all the bugs and you already know how to use them because uh, nine out of ten times a lot of the bugs they don't even address them in the test live they just ship them to the live client which uh yeah but anyways, they should be going through everything with a fine comb to find bugs and issues. Trust me, people appreciate when a company or just even a person takes the time to get things right because it shows they care and actually want the consumer, a.k.a. you, to have a great experience with their product. I have said it before and I will say it again. It's just good business when you actually take the time to address these issues and it means a lot to the community. Also, why the f can't you keep us in the loop, Funcom? Like, what the actual f Why do you spend so much time on silencing legitimate questions and concerns on your forums? 
In all honesty, wouldn't you agree that transparency with the community would actually strengthen the relationship with people who actually like your game? Or am I the only sane one here who thinks it's utter bullshit how they treat the community? That could just be me, and I am speaking my opinions. You don't have to like them or agree with them, and you are more than welcome to share yours down in the comments below of what you think uh, is the future for server transfers. Do you think we're going to get it anytime soon? Do you think they're going to try to mix it in with crossplay? Do you think crossplay is even a possibility? Should we discuss that in a video? Do you think server transfers will be the next feature since Age of Sorcery has come to its conclusion. What do you think's next for Funcom with Conan Exiles? I'm always curious to see what you guys think, so let me know. And remember, if you do like the video and you like my content, giving it a like really does help me. I, 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 I hate asking for it, but you know, even YouTube's always like, you know, get out there and you know, ask for subscribes and your likes and blah, 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 blah. If you like the content, like it, it helps me. It gets my video spread around. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. It's up to you. It's free, so that's you know, whatever, right? But I'm done here. I just kind of wanted to discuss server transfers. I mean, I did experience it a bit and uh, it was chaos. But I played on private, so it was quickly disabled. But uh, I, I did see firsthand a lot of the mayhem from YouTube videos, clips that people sent me, uh, friends that experienced it. it there was a lot of, a lot of bugs and issues with it. And uh, I think if Funcom just took a breath and actually put some passion into the content that they put out there, features, you know, stuff like that. Uh, they could actually make a game that has potential. They can make it great. I'd say let's make Conan great again, but it's never really been great. And the current state it's in is, is, is pretty good. But I'm out of here. I, I've rambled too much.